Now, uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, and please welcome back once again to my channel. Just in case you're here for the first time, or maybe you are currently watching this video, and maybe you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please subscribe so that we can grow together on this channel, and also you can press the notification bell uh, down below so that you can automatically receive the notifications from YouTube immediately I post a video here on this channel. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, I really want to appreciate you so much because without your support, then this channel cannot be where it is currently. So feel very much welcome as you watch this video and I really, really don't take your support for granted. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let us go straight into our critical analysis for today. And basically, I just want us to talk about the former Prime Minister, Raila Amolodinga, failing in the opposition leadership. Now, at least for now, we can uh, finally conclude that Raila Odinga has now lost hope of becoming the President of the Republic of Kenya until the year 2027. You know, previously, Raila Odinga was demanding that William Ruto must open the IEBC servers because he was saying that if the IEBC servers will be opened to the public, we can see that he clearly or truly won the previous 2022 general elections and he defeated William Samuel Ruto and he should be the president of the Republic of Kenya. That one did not happen simply because William Samuel Ruto does not have the capacity of opening the IEBC servers. The people who can open you know, you must follow the law. So the people who can open the IEBC servers is none other than the IEBC officials only because it's actually an independent institution and it does not in any way, you know, follow the orders from the president or even the court of law has that ability to open the IEBC servers. So basically here, William Ruto legally does not have the capacity of opening the IEBC servers. Secondly, Raila Molodinga was saying that he does not recognize William Samuel Ruto as the official president of the Republic of Kenya. But currently, ladies and gentlemen, if you have been observing Raila Odinga's recent political moves, you can clearly tell that he has finally accepted, graciously accepted the role of the opposition. But, ladies and gentlemen, here is a situation whereby the majority of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters, or maybe some Kenyans here, feel like Raila Odinga has failed, you know, to provide the opposition leadership. The reason as to why they are saying this is, first of all, because of Raila Odinga's recent political silence. I think majority of the Azimio no Moja Alliance supporters wanted Raila Odinga to still proceed with, uh, you know, the public barazas that he was previously contacting. They wanted Raila Odinga to continue <coughs> with, you know, boycotting some uh, some products here in Kenya. They wanted Raila Odinga to continue uh, with his mandamanos you know, the Azimio Lomoja Alliance rallies in the different parts of the country. So, Raila Odinga's recent silence, majority of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters feel like Raila Odinga has failed in the opposition because they believe that Raila Odinga should conduct what I've talked about so that they can feel that heat from the opposition. When, when Raila Odinga become so silent in the, uh, in the political, you know, you know, uh, cloud here in Kenya, there's nothing that is continuing. You know, the country is total silent. There's no political heat. Majority of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance don't want that. They want Raila Odinga to continue with the Mandamanos, with the, with, with the Mapambano, together with uh, the public barazas, Azimio Lomoja Alliance rallies, and the rest of the issues. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, majority of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters feel betrayed by Raila Amolodinga. 
the reason as to why I'm saying this is that first of all, <clears throat> Ray Lodinga is fighting for himself. You can clearly tell that. For example, Ray Lodinga recently accepted the bipartisan approach talks and he appointed the Azimio no Moja Alliance representatives and the Kenya Kwanza Alliance side appointed their representatives so that they can come up with the solutions to the issues they have been raising. But recently, ladies and gentlemen, it was just the day before yesterday that Raila Odinga and the Azimio no Moja Alliance suspended the bipartisan approach talks. And the reasons I was listening to the reasons as to why the Azimio no Moja Alliance decided to suspend <coughs> the talks there. First of all, they are claiming that <coughs> President William Samuel Ruto failed to actualize on the issues that they agreed upon when the Azimio, both Azimio and the Kenya Kwanza Alliance agreed on the issues that they were talking about. You know, William, Ram, William Samuel Ruto was to put into action, but William Ruto failed to actualize. Secondly, they are saying that William Samuel Ruto has failed to open the IEBC servers. You know, those are the issues, some parts of the issues that led to the Azimio Lo Moja Alliance to suspend the bipartisan approach talks. But in those issues, there is no issues, you know, that is related to the common one issue. You can clearly tell that, you know, uh, is another issue is because William Samuel Ruto has failed to stop the reconstitution of the IEBC officials. There is no high cost of living. They have not suspended the, 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 the bipartisan approach talks simply because of the high cost of living. You know, the high cost of living, the rising high cost of living is the main issue that each and every person here in Kenya <coughs> is feeling that hit. It is the role of the opposition. You know, when when Renu Dinka provides the opposition leadership, it does not provide the opposition leadership for the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters alone, for the Azimio alone. He is actually the opposition leader of each and every person here in Kenya. The same way to President William Samuel Ruto, when he provides governance of this country, he is not the president of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. He is actually the president of each and every Kenyan. So basically here, Raila Odinga has failed to raise the issues that are affecting common energy. So basically, he has failed in the position. He's just fighting for the positions. He's just fighting for himself, especially in the bipartisan approach talk. So basically here, majority of Kenyans, majority of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance supporters feel betrayed by Raila Odinga. Thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, Raila Odinga has failed to keep William Samuel Ruto's government in check. Just like what I said earlier on about Reludinga's silence, Reludinga has allowed President William Samuel Ruto to operate on several issues without opposing. The rule of the opposition is that when the president comes out to operate, to come up with several issues, the opposition must oppose so hard you know, that is the role of the opposition. But currently, let's talk about the housing plan, the housing levy, uh, the 2023 financial, you know, uh, all those issues. Reloading has failed to oppose, or to oppose with a lot of strength. I think I will still tell you the reason as to why Reloading has failed in the opposition, which I think we can weigh if it's truly the reason that Raila Odinga must be excused about or maybe it's the reasons as to why <clears throat> that cannot be. You know, we can blame it on Raila Odinga. But the fourth reason, ladies and gentlemen, Raila Odinga has also failed in the opposition side, in the Azimio no Moja Alliance leadership. Majority of the challenges that are 
keeping on emerging in the Azimio no Moja Alliance is simply because of the leadership. First of all, Raila Odinga has failed to unite the Azimio no Moja Alliance leaders. That is why you are currently seeing uh, the, 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 the major defections or the majority of the defections that you have witnessed within the Azimio no Moja Alliance. So basically, Raila Odinga has failed to unite, he has failed to prevent uh, the defections from the Azimio no Moja Alliance leadership. So I think Raila Odinga has failed in the opposition, to my conclusion, simply because of financial issues. You know, the role of the opposition also requires finance. Previously, Raila Odinga was being funded by maybe Uhuru Kenyatta, my majority of uh, the, the people, the leaders who wanted, uh, you know, their political, their, their interest to be solved. But those are the kind of people who are funding Raila Odinga's Mandamanos, Raila Odinga's uh, rallies, as Miolo Moja plans, rallies across the country. But these people are no longer funding Raila Odinga. So because of the financial issues. And that is why President William Samuel Ruto was saying this, that let us come up with the official office of the opposition so that it can be funded by the constitution or by the government so that it can at least operate on the finance, you know, with, without, without any challenges because the main issue here is that William Samuel Ruto requires the opposition most, not like the former head of state, Uhuru Kenyatta, who also uh, had his own side, his own way of uh, ruling this country. He did not want the opposition, he wanted the opposition in government. But on William Samuel Ruto's side, the way he has been operating, it requires the role of the opposition to keep the in, in check and all the issues of the opposition to be to be heard also. So I think if we go to William Samuel Ruto's route, if Raila Odinga accepts the role of the opposition, you know the office of the opposition, and the rest of the issues that William Samuel Ruto was proposing, it will become so much easier for Raila Odinga. <coughs> So that they can carry out the role of the opposition without any issues. I don't know what you think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Do you think that Raila Odinga has failed to provide the opposition leadership? And what are the reasons as to why you're saying that Raila Odinga has failed in the opposition leadership? Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Jason. Bye-bye.